I thought it'd be just interesting to reminisce and be a little nostalgic and have that conversation about how we sort of form together. I'll start by saying I was just an individual person who didn't necessarily want to be a realtor, but I wanted to turn <laughs> a couple of transactions personally. And, uh, you know, that ended up becoming sort of a platform, right? I wanted to be the sort, if I was going to do this, I wanted to be the sort of agent who was really only solely focused on the client and what their specific needs were. And I remember thinking to myself, and if that was gonna work, and I could make enough money doing it that way rather than the whole platform of sales and transactions and this is how much business that I've done. If that were really going to work, then I could be okay doing this as a career. And then as I became, I remember one year I was just so busy that I was literally exhausted. And at the end of that year, somebody said, hire an assistant. So I called up one of my friends, Lisa Scondras, who Michelle knows because that'll be part of Michelle's story. Um, and I said, hey, I need an assistant. They tell me I need an assistant, so will you do it? And so she spent a lot of time with me and she was super amazing at what she did. And then one day she comes in and says she needs to talk to me. Um, she hates real estate, but um, she's gonna go back to teaching. She doesn't want anything to do with real estate, but she has a replacement and said Michelle was really, really detail-oriented and she would be a great fit. So, of course, I wish Lisa well because we want everybody to be happy. Mm -hmm. And then Michelle shows up. So, so you take it from there. Lisa had been telling me all along, like, we, you know, our kids grew up together. We've been friends for years. And she would tell me about this little gig that she got working for Marianne. And I was like, I want that. That's, <laughs> I want to do something like that. And then... Little did she know. <laughs> <laughs> so... I, I was like, put the word out in your, you know, office if anybody else needs someone. And she was like, they don't really, like, it doesn't really work that way. And I was like, all right. And then eventually she was started saying how she might not want to do it so much anymore. And I was like, put, tell her, tell her I'll do it. Tell her I'll do it. And I hadn't met Marianne yet. Um, I mean, I, I knew you we like, knew in passing from the kids, the kids and whatever, but um, we didn't really, really know each other. And I was like, tell her, tell her. And so... One day she called, and it was probably two years that I was like, oh, this is never going to happen. And then one day she called me and said, I'm, I'm going to do it. And I was like, <laughs> sorry for you. Michelle yeah. was like doing a football <laughs> touchdown. Yeah. Yes. 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 I was like, oh, good. And so she told me that she told you, and she's like, you, I gave her your number. You're going to have a talk. And we had a chat, and the rest of this history, I started working for you. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. she, you, of course, started out as, as licensed. Do, I started to, I was unlicensed at the time. I started Not to... Not only unlicensed, but super nervous about having <laughs> Not as nervous as you Quiet did. and nervous. <laughs> and she started building her confidence. And then um, I needed you to be licensed because you yeah, can't really more interact. Yeah, I could do if I was licensed. Right. I was getting... So we went through that whole process of pushing Michelle out the door, <laughs> right, to get her license. Yep. And then what were your marching orders? <laughs> what were your <laughs> marching orders? If you meet orders? anyone in class, I have a mic. You bring them on away, so. <laughs> yeah. So that Michelle's marching orders were, if you see anybody with good moral ethics, who's <laughs> kind, who's a good person, identify them. Yeah. So I don't even think Matt really knew that. No, he didn't he know that. First off, <laughs> No, we were not. vetting that before he even knew. Yeah, I was, I was doing real, I've done some real estate in Australia as well. So, and so I'm in this real estate course. It goes for like two or three weeks and you learn about air rights and evolution, and all these stupid terms that we've never used to this, to, to this well. day. But you're learning all this stuff, but it was very confusing because there was a few things like a buyer's agent doesn't exist in Australia. So there is no such thing. And they're talking about buyer's agents. They're talking about oil tanks. They're talking about air rights. They're talking about the way the water is. Like all these things that just made absolutely no sense to me. And I remember talking to Michelle and being saying, you know, asking her like, what, what, what do you mean buyer's agents? Like, and they're teaching it, but you know, the way that he taught was to, to memorize answers rather, rather than actually teach, teach. So he was teaching you to memorize answers to pass a test, but not actually really any background why these answers were like that. And then one day they started talking about teams, which also doesn't exist in Australia. And I'm like, 
what is teams? What, what do you mean by teams? She's like, well, if you want to meet a team, <laughs> I can introduce you to one. And to be honest, it was just really funny. I was on the edge between going to Wackett and coming. Remember, I was like, because wow. I, I, I remember thinking like, I don't know if I want to be on a team. I, I think maybe I want to just be on my own and do my own thing. But then, yeah, I decided that the team was best for me because I had no idea about the system. Basically, how I got a license, but I didn't really understand the industry properly, so I needed someone to teach me. So then Rhonda. So then I was... So you gotta rewind it to the beginning. I know. I feel like your story goes to the begin to Pathway. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I met Marianne, uh, we were looking to upgrade our house from one house in Wyckoff to another house in Wyckoff, and Jim and I were just like hitting up different open houses because it was like the internet was whatever. So we went to an open house and Marianne was there and I kind of knew you from Wyckoff, but we uh, really met and uh, Long story short, we ended up buying our house through you, and then you sold our house. And I always had like a interest. love for real estate. I, I love houses. <laughs> and uh, she was like, "Oh, you should take your test." But I had like little kids at the time; it just wasn't the right time. So then, fast forward a couple years later, I went and got my license, and I went and just held my license at Christie's for a while by myself. And then, long story short, you guys. Uh, came to Christie's and I found this opportunity. I wanted to be mentored like Matt did. I needed to learn the business because you're not learning it in the book, right? True. So um, that was going to be five years in January. You no, know, at any point, like it's drop and go. Like if any one of us has an emergency and there's a SOS out, we've got it covered. Agree. Like I remember when I had to jump on a flight really quick and just kind of, yeah, as you guys handle everything and you know, that's really comforting to know that, and even when we go in on appointments, we are all pretty much present for the most time. And the sellers know that the reason we have this structure is so that if in the event we have a life circumstance that we have fully yeah, skilled okay. individuals that are happy to jump in, but there's always like that main pivot. You know what I've seen when we were inside telling some of our stories? I feel like we, I knew all of your stories because I feel like we share. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah, nothing yeah. like, nothing was like, oh, no one ever told me that. Like, it's yeah. not like that. I feel like we, we all, all know all each other's stories about like, oh, I remember that. And I, I don't know. That's kind of cool. I don't know that it's like that everywhere.